I am cleaning out our minivan. It is time to get it ready to sell. We already took it off of our insurance, so we have a final date that we need to sell it by. And we have a family in mind that is thinking about it. And whether they sell it or not, I'm just I'm just glad that I have somebody in my mind that I know I'm cleaning for. That just helps me prepare the van a lot better. I'm gonna do a really nice job on it. I vacuumed it out a couple days ago and today took out the uh, mats that we had down here. We have rubber mats that need to get washed. Um, and I'm thinking I'm still going to go ahead and try to wash out these stains that are in the carpet. There was a big old glob of red candy right here. You can kind of still see a pinkish tint that I'm still trying to get out. I have it soaking in thieves cleaner, household cleaner. This is what I used when I did our carpets of our house um, when we moved into our new home. And so this is what I'm going to use to clean the carpets in here and all surfaces actually. My other tools of choice are an old Norwex rag and a butter knife to clean everything up. Toby, you gonna help? Yeah. You gonna help us vacuum? Yeah. I don't think him and Z can plug it in. Yeah. There you go, you make the sound for it. Time to test if I can get some of these spots out that are on here. Hopefully we can remove these stains. I think I may have just made that spot way cleaner than the rest of the van. <laughs> oh man, I can't do the whole carpet by hand. Is it worth renting a carpet cleaner and doing the van? I don't know. I think I just talked myself into hand cleaning all the carpet in the van. <laughs> Cause I was just thinking if I was buying this van, if I was buying any van used, new, I would want it to look really nice. And so this is what I would hope for when I'm buying a van and so that's what I'm gonna do. So I put a couple of capfuls of that Thieves Cleaner in this gigantic bottle. So I'm gonna spray that and then I have a rubber Norwex brush that I'm gonna use to massage it all in and then I think I'll go back over with the Norwex rag to take it up. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> kind of emotional cleaning this van up. It's looking so nice and it has been such a great van for our family and I was really hoping we would hang on to it for so many more years but it's time to let it go. We have a bigger van that suits our family a lot better and this can hopefully be a huge blessing for another family that will continue on with it and bring little ones home from the hospital in this van like we did and and I'm gonna miss it. But it's nice like just getting to think of all the memories as I'm scrubbing it down. I'm cleaning every single piece of fabric in this van because that's what I would want if I was gonna be buying this from somebody and and it's looking so Hi. nice. What are you doing? Apple. Apple, you were eating an apple. Go to the backyard. I think daddy's gonna do something special for us tonight. Love you kiddos. Both of you came home from the hospital in this van. We bought this van because I was pregnant with you, kiddo. Oh, actually, so Hallie came home in the other car. You're the first one to come home in this van. You wanna go home? You are home. Go inside, go see Dada. I think he's gonna make a fire out back. Outside, out back in the backyard. Go look and see. Yeah, go see if, he can, go see if you can help him with the wood. I told the kids that for dinner tonight we would have a fire <laughs> and roast marshmallows for dinner and they took no time at all at getting the fire out, 
the chairs out. We still got two more seats you guys have for mommy and daddy. And let's, yep, Zeke's getting the wood. I'll help you, Zeke, let me do that. I don't want that falling over on you. And we will uh, get a fire going. I think it might be the twins' first fire, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna get too near it. Nope. Karis and Chloe, you got your rocking chairs? I got them up for them. Oh, thank you, Hannah. All right, you little kid, let's, should we light this fire? You guys, this is gonna be fun? Can we All right. fight, can we fight no one? What? No one. Invite no one? Uh-uh. Yeah, just be just our family tonight. Just our family. <laughs> These fire starters are from last year, last summer. I don't think They've been outside all uh, all winter long in the rain and snow. Hopefully they still work. <laughs> you see that, Toby? I think it's going. I think we got it. Hallie, are you getting cold? <laughs> you go and got your winter jacket. Uh, I have my on. You can move closer to the fire. It's going now. Putting off some good heat. Toby, what do you think of the fire? Do you like it? This might be the first fire you're old enough to remember. I came inside because the twins are very, very hungry. So I'm going to get them something to eat now. But it's fun to be a parent and just listen to the kids sit around the fire and have conversations about things. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Yeah, it's fun watching you guys just sit out here nicely and talking with each other. I think it's ready for us to start cooking. Here, Toby, I got you a hot dog stick. I don't know, he's never cooked one of these before. So this is how you do it, Toby. You hold this end, right here, okay? And you gotta get close to the fire, okay? And then hold it over the fire so it cooks. All right, you gonna do it? And when it's all done cooking, then you can eat it, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you getting smoke in your eye, Toby? Here, just move. Toby, move over to this side. Come this way. Or close your eyes, one or the other. Close yeah, that's frustrating. <laughs> you got it? You got your hot dog, Hannah? All right, it's gonna be a good dinner, isn't it? We've got baked beans. We've got um, free fried beans, leftovers, hot dogs, pickles, barbecue sauce, mustard, ketchup, relish. All for a good meal outside. You do not like the smoke in your eyes, do you? Well, that happens. Oh, he got ashes in his hair. You guys see that? Why don't you just move to a different place? When that happens, you just get up and move, okay? Yeah, or close your eyes. Just keep your eyes closed. Now that we're all done cooking, we got the nice bed of coals that we probably should have waited for. Now it's like super nice and hot and very little smoke. But uh, we were getting really hungry. We didn't really feel like waiting. We're just like, let's just start eating. This wraps up Theta. Daily vlogging for an entire month. So we had a lot of fun. It was really great to hang out with you guys. And now the big question that we've been wrestling with is, do we continue daily vlogging or not? We enjoyed it a lot. We enjoy the flow of the story and getting to share all these videos and everything with you guys. But the cost of time that it takes to put forth with it is hard to continue on um, with our family. Like we need to, the time, we're taking away time with the family or time between the two of us, I feel like more than anything, both of our nights are a lot busier and I mean, we're still having our weekly date nights, but there hasn't been like the extra time to get to hang out just on a random night. It takes about an, a solid afternoon for me to edit the vlog. So every afternoon now um, takes several hours um, just just to edit, which is great. Love doing it, uh, but it takes time from Dana, takes time from the family, and it's not time that we have that we can keep doing sustainably right now. So we have a few solutions for it because we really do want to go um, and do this um, daily with you guys. So one solution, uh, here's, a, here's a plan I think right now is um, if we hired an editor, we could have them, we, like, we can shoot the vlog and then just have someone else edit. Um, so if we, if I do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, someone else does Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, um, that would be about $1,800 a month. So this channel does not generate that much money. Um, so um, I guess our goal is like, let's see if we can get it up to somewhere around that range so that we, then maybe we can start um, going daily with you guys, but having someone 
who can uh, we can pay to to edit and then eventually get to $3,600 where someone's just editing these for us every day and we can they can definitely do consistent daily stuff for you then so I don't know if it's gonna happen or not there's it's not making that much money not even close right now so there'd be a lot of work that happens between now and then but maybe we can figure out some ways to do that so if you guys have any ideas, let us know. We thought about making some stuff that maybe you guys have said in past vlogs, like Dana's chore charts, maybe uh, putting those, <laughs> making those available to sell, the Bible verse scriptures that you guys have said you've wanted, um, maybe uh, writing some family adventure day idea books or something like that, just doing some things like that that would increase the revenue so we can get to, get to daily vlogging with you guys faster. So if you have any comments or thoughts on any of that, let us know down below, but just right now, Time-wise and money-wise, we just can't make it happen. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this month. We really did enjoy it, and we're kind of bummed that we're going to have to pull back again. But hopefully, one day in the future, we'll be back at it. It make, it does make me bummed the garden, that we're not going to do cars, it. The cars, the twins walking. I know. There's uh, so much. So we've got trips coming up this, this summer, a lot of trips coming up. So it's going to be a lot of exciting stuff, but... You know, we have to put our family first with that. So, and we thank you for understanding that. Um, but yeah, thanks for subscribing and subscribe if you haven't. And we look forward to hanging out with you some more next week. See you guys. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye.